Hi folks, hello and welcome back to another video right here on the channel. So, we are continuing the Talisman series with the mini expansions and today I'm going to share with you the Frost March. Okay, so the Whale of the Talisman gets nice and icy uh, and we move on. <laughs> okay, so time for the specs, I'll give you a little bit of a background to this one. There's the back of the box by the way. Okay, so the Frost March, a continent of ice dominates the horizon. It is the Frost March, brought here across the northern waters by the Ice Queen. Armed with the Crown of Command, she is transforming the realm into a desolate, frozen wasteland. Can you overcome the raging storms and strange creatures that inhabit this bitter land? Will your blood freeze when you behold the Ice Queen's cold, cruel gaze? Okay, so in the box we have 84 adventure cards, 20 spell cards, 24 warlock quest cards and 3 alternate ending cards including a final climatic battle with the Ice Queen. So this was one of the expansions that I picked up that, to be honest, I didn't really take too much notice of. Um, I just got to complete the collection. But uh, looking at it now, you know, I'd say the evocative artwork on the front there, it could be really, really interesting. Let's lift the lid. Let's have a look at what we've got. Okay, so straight away, we find we have our little instruction leaflet. These are brilliant, they just basically list the differences and what the different components actually do. So it's always nice to have as a reminder. We have our extra set of cards, so just flick the specs back on again. Let's have a look, and this is going to give us our list of characters as well. So already I'm seeing something that I like the look of. Okay, so we have, in no certain order, the Necromancer, he's going to be really, really cool. Okay, we have an Ogre Chieftain. I'm thinking having characters this big and this powerful. I really am thinking we're going to have some uh, little tinkers, some uh, hard enemies in those decks there. Okay, we have a Warlock. And we have a really interesting character. We have a Leprechaun. Okay, so I'm sure he's going to be up to all sorts of shenanigans. And then just close it out with our different endings. We have Warlock Quests. Okay. We have Crown and Scepter. I think that's how you say it. And we have the Ice Queen um, Showdown Confrontation. I mean, the artwork on these is just amazing. Anybody who loves like, you know, their fantasy. Um, and again, you know, I say in every episode, guys, you know, the idea is to get the Crown of Command and kill everybody else on the board. Um, in Talisman. However, just having those little separate scenarios just spices things up, you know? Okay, so we have two small decks of cards again. Normally they're marked A and B, but these aren't. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the first cards in each one because anybody watching this who, you know, is going to go out and buy this expansion or indeed play it tonight or tomorrow or whatever, have not played it, I don't want to spoil anything. Okay, lifting the lid off brings us to our minis. So these are going to be really interesting, aren't they? Let's have a look. Okay, so we have... We have our Warlock. Okay. Not exciting, just robes. But nice easy paint job if you're that way inclined. We have the little fella. Our Leprechaun. I'm hoping the camera, the autofocus picks up on him there. We have our Necromancer. These minis are lovely. And again, like a real, real interesting set of characters to play, aren't they? And we have our Ogre Chieftain. Okay, so he's obviously like your tank. He's like your big powerhouse, isn't he? Okay, guys. So that was the Frost March. Are you still enjoying the series? Um, we are drawn to a close now. Look, and I think we've got... Three more. We've got the Firelands, the Sacred Pool and the Lost Realms to cover. And our Talisman journey will be complete. Okay, I am going to leave it there, guys. Like I say, comment below. Do you fancy this expansion? Have you played it? There's one for you. Is anybody playing the digital versions on Steam, um, PC and Xbox? I think it's probably available on PlayStation. If you are, comment below. Let me know, how, you know what you think of them. I've played the Xbox One and I really enjoyed it, but you still can't beat Sitting there with a full board set up, throwing a few dice and your mates and a couple of beers and uh, man, I'm waxing on now anyway. I'm going to leave it there and I'll see you next month for another Talisman expansion.